Welcome to today's show. I'm Ani, creator and inventor of the Jewel Tool Polishing Machine, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys on today's show. I will be showing you guys my techniques on how to finish a frets hammer. And we're talking about the most popular hammer that frets makes. You guys, I've used it. It's you know, not as polished as it used to be. I've polished this before in the past. You guys have seen it. So, you know, you guys, these hammers are, oh, I would say a little bit on the pricey side. They're definitely not our $2 hacks that we get from um, Harbor Freight. So if you do own a pair, you know, a pair, if you own multiple frets hammers, what I'm about to show you will totally spruce up your uh, hammers in like literally you can do this in under a minute. I promise you, you guys, it's not a whole, I got to concentrate. I got to pray to the gods and get into my meditative state to polish a fret hammer. It's a real quick thing. You guys, I'm telling you under a minute, you get this back on track. Um, I've spoken to uh, Bill Fretz many, many times. Last time I saw him actually was in Hong Kong at the Hong Kong Jewelry Show. I was demonstrating the jewel tool and literally Bill Fretz was right behind me going, talk, 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 talk. And he would come over and I would finish polishing his hammers that he used because he wanted his hammers to be polished. So as he's demonstrating, they actually, you know, the pieces he's making come out nice because when you have a polished hammer, you know how it goes the surface becomes polished and not scratched and blah, blah, blah. So um, so I have specific instruction from Bill Fretz himself on how to polish his hammers. And I'm going to share that with you guys because I love you so much and I miss you so much. I was unable to come on the show yesterday, you guys, because I actually, besides working, I actually had to help my son with something, which is an awesome project he's working on. And I'll reveal that as soon as I can, but it's exciting. So yeah, so I was a little busy doing being a mom manager, momager, and I need jewel tool. So I tend, I was doing two things and I wanted to come on live, but I didn't have, I ran out of time. Darn it. So you guys, I'm excited to be here. So excited. I'm gonna do my happy dance. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to say hi to everybody. Okay. Hello. Ooh, we've got all my favorites. Ooh. And if you're here watching and quietly watching, please type a hi. I'd love to personally say hi to you. So hi, Melanie Campbell. You've been posting some nice things on Jewel Tool community. So yay. Uh, Deborah Smith. Hello, Nancy Robertson, Bonnie. Oh, thanks, Bonnie, for what you said earlier. I saw that post. Uh, Carrie and Paula Rubin and Terry Giese and Anne. Hello. Welcome to the show, you guys. Uh, yes, I, I do. I, I do my best to be mom first business. However, some of my kids would say sometimes I do put business before them. Guess what? Mama's got to pay the bills so you guys can do what you want to do. So it balances out uh, in the long run. So hi, Penny Horton and Jorun. Hello, Jorun. Welcome to my show. Hel or Jorun, Horun. I don't know. I don't know how to say your name, but welcome. Uh, hello, everybody. So you guys, I have been, there's a lot going on, you guys. Hi, Diana Schnitzka. I'm here with my new SWA, uh, I mean merch, my new merch. Oh, yeah, I have mine too. Oh, she has her new merch, her new, yeah, I love that. She was about to say swag, but then she said merch because my kids have told me, thank you. I actually have a drink in here too. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is what Diana Schnetz is saying. She's saying she had, yes. So we call this merch. Apparently the cool lingo on stuff like this is merch. So I want to be cool and I want you guys to be cool. So apparently it's merch. So hi, Maya, uh, Myra, Mir Miriam, Miriam. Hello, Miriam. Hi, Nicole Richie. Hey gang, finished trimming my hair. Just in time. Oh, nice, Nicole. I need to see a picture. You need to post. Um, I love your pronunciation. Oh, you like that, Jorun? Okay, beautiful. All right, guys. So I got to tell you guys something. So 
you know, and who are uh, Anita Toasty? Hi, no, Anita. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome. So, you guys, I have been chosen to be interviewed on Instagram Live, Instagram Live tomorrow. Um, it's a panel of a few of a few guests, and I've been chosen as one. So you guys know I'm Armenian, and if you don't, I'm Armenian. And so after the whole war and what's happening right now in Armenia, a lot of the Armenians that are here in the United States have really united, like really united. Some people have really taken on the reins and bringing us together. And then they're, they're bringing in people that can even push that up even more further. And <laughs> it's funny how they found me. Um, I'm pretty active and I talk and I know a lot of people um, on Instagram as far as that goes. And so, oh yeah. So tomorrow, you guys, I'm a little nervous. I got a little sweat rolling down here. And I'm going to be interviewed at 11 a.m. on Instagram. It's a live show and it's like with my face. So I'll be like the double head. Like, you know, like, so if this is a screen, I'll be down here and the comments will go on my face. So <laughs> it's true. I hate when that happens, but it's so true. So follow me, you guys, on Instagram so that you guys can watch the show because you'll get a notification that I'm going live. So my Instagram name is Ani Jewel Tool right here. So if you guys can like support and be with me, I really would appreciate it. And honestly, if I see you guys comment or type, I would feel so much at ease. So I encourage you guys, if you're watching, like comment, like you've never commented before. So that way I'm at ease and I know what to say because they haven't even told me my questions they're going to ask me. So I'm like, <laughs> so anyways, they just want me to be me. Maybe that's why they're not telling me questions that I have to answer. So nonetheless, let me see the comments, Yaro. Okay, so everybody, so yeah. Melanie says, yes, Melanie, I saw that you started following me the other day. I followed you back. I was so excited. So you guys, it's going to be only on Instagram. I can't, I'm not the, I'm not the author. I'm not posting it. It's the interview, guys. It's, um, I'm being interviewed by a writer um, and a teacher. Okay, so that's another thing. Nicole, I saw that you're on Clubhouse. I, for anyone that doesn't know, Clubhouse is an app. And it's a new social media platform where you, it's a little bit professional. It's more professional. I would say it's great for networking. Um, so I feel as though this would be great for our jewelry community, creative artists to get on board. So um, if you guys need any more information about Clubhouse, just reach out to me because you do need an invitation to join. And so if we can combine our invitations, maybe we can bring in people because that's how it is. If you go sign up, you'll be waiting for a while to get accepted. So we really need, it's an invitation only kind of a, a app. So I had my first yesterday, the you know the, that that British guy, Emil Giesen? Yeah, they do because I posted about them. So do you guys remember I was telling you guys about a British guy named Emil Giesen who he's a, a documentary filmmaker and he has taken all sorts of footage right there on the front lines in Armenia. He actually was just there and went back to London because he's editing the documentary on Armenians. Well, so good friend of mine, and I just found out another good friend of mine who's a producer of Songs of Solomon, who's up for two Oscars. They, these two people, my producer, Armenian friend, and the British filmmaker have joined voice of forces and voices. They joined voices, everybody. And so my Armenian producer is going to be producing that documentary. So I'm like mind blown. Anyways. That's a whole other story. But I was on Clubhouse yesterday because the filmmaker created a chat room. And so you go into like this room and you see everyone who's in the room and you're like, Ooh, I know that person or who is that person? You can click on them and see their profile. So everyone's in the room 
And so the speakers all speak about a really good topic. And you're like, hmm, that's good. I didn't know about that. So it's very uplifting, this Clubhouse. You guys, I'm talking about the Clubhouse app. So yesterday I was on, actually in the car. I wouldn't have time during the day. They're on right now, and I'm bummed that I'm not in it. Um, so when they asked, if they said, if anyone has questions, raise your hand. And in Clubhouse, if you push the raise your hand button, you can be called upon to speak. So like, let's say Brad Pitt is doing like, you know, the, he's running the, the room and he's, he's hosting the room. You have an opportunity to talk to Brad Pitt and have a communication. Same goes for like Elon Musk does these clubhouse, um, meetings. You've got, you know, uh, who's that other guy? Mark Cuban does them. So anyways, the filmmaker yesterday did it and I raised my hand and he chose me and I got to talk to the whole group and it was really fun. So I encourage everyone, um, to get on clubhouse. If you know anyone that is on clubhouse, have them send you an invite because it's invitation only. Um, and anyone that's interested in joining, uh, message me and I will try to find people who have invitations to, uh, to invite you. So yeah, and you must, you mean lick the phone speaker. Um, I'm yes. Talk to Brad Pitt. She goes, lick. Yes. Yeah, so you can talk to all the, like, it's crazy. And it's a very like relaxed platform. I kind of, it, it's very much Ted talkish. But it's a, you know, you, you, you interact with one another. So it's very nice. It's like a podcast, like a TED Talk, and like in a live all in one. It, it's very interesting. There's, there's no video, but you get to see everyone that's in the, the group. Like here, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, so the reason why I want you guys all to join it is because I want to build a jewelry making community in Clubhouse. I want to get everyone together so we can have good discussions, give ideas about where to sell your jewelry, what to do, what you're doing. This is something that I want to even host. So if you guys don't know what uh, Clubhouse is, this is the icon. Yara, can you zoom in? So if you're looking for a Clubhouse on your uh, app store. It's right here. It's the guy. It's a black and white picture of a guy with a baseball cap on. You guys see that? They might change it later, but for now, that's the icon you want to look for to download. And I hear that it's only available on the iPhone. So they might have fixed that. Nicole, can you invite me, Julie? I love Julie. M me too. No, Nicole, I have four invites. So uh, use me as a resource. Nice. So everyone who joins will get an ability to invite somebody or two people. It just builds. So that's why I encourage you guys to join. Um, and you guys, I am Ani Peligian on Clubhouse. Hold on, look. Oh, see, like right now, you guys here, look, watch, watch, just watch this. So right now, they're still live. So look right here. Do you guys see Emil Gieson? He is the British documentary filmmaker for Armenians, that guy. So he's hosting. So the topic is disinformation on co in conflict. Okay. So listen, this is you guys, listen, this is going to be a room. Yeah. This is, trust me. They won't hear us. Look, you're always like panicking. Left and then they live around the world where they still support Armenia. So yeah, I didn't really know to begin with at all. And yeah, definitely my following has grown massive from the diaspora, mainly because the eyes and the ears have been on the ground. That going back to the topic of what we're talking about. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let me show wait, let me show you guys what it means about raising your hand. So do you guys see there's like a little hand icon? So when they when they welcome questions, you raise your hand. And then like, let's say if I want to leave without making it obvious, I press leave quietly. But do you see all these people that are watching? Look, you can see them all. And so like, let's say that I'm curious as who this Louisa is. You can click on them and read who they are. Do you guys see? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to leave quietly. Let's leave quietly. 
my car back when I was in Europe, and I went to the film school there. They wanted me to go talk, and it was, I was. Bye. So, I thought that well, Yara, this is going to be really quick. Really, Yara was thinking it's going to be a while. Uh, I'd like an invite. Okay, good. So I hi hi Tom, hi Robert, hi Glenn. Uh, I love to join too. Yes, you guys. This is something I'll be honest with you guys. So this is this is an app that it, it's so far the most downloaded app. What did they say, Kristen, yesterday? What was fun? My son was saying that it's the most downloaded app, and it's really gonna it's gonna be it's gonna blow up really. So I really want you guys to get on on it early. Like the out of everyone that I know, Nicole Richie is the only one that was on and I saw it and I'm like friends. I wanted to be friends so we're friends. So the advantage is you guys, I want you guys to get the rhythm of it and I want to start creating um to create a room. I just like you saw right now, I want to create a room where we can have an open discussion and bounce ideas off of each other. Do you know what I mean? To to take our industry jewelry making or whatever you're even working on further you know what i mean so that's that was what i kind of wanted to share i want it please so yeah everyone wants an invite it's really good you guys it's a little confusing once you get started but i was a speaker yesterday so i got some experience just took yeah if I, yeah you guys can do it okay so you guys Tom says, D, you got it. You're so cute. Tom M just offers stones. I love it. Hi, D. Hi, how are you? Okay, you guys, back to, remember, watch me tomorrow. If you guys didn't, too, if you guys tuned in a little late, I will be interviewed. I know I said this earlier, but just in case, because I'm not going to say it while I'm working, I'm going to be interviewed tomorrow on Instagram Live. If you guys can follow me and support this, it's at 11 a.m. California time. So it's 2 p.m. Um, 2 p.m. Eastern time. So yeah, this is my Instagram right here. So follow Ani on Instagram. Yay, that's my profile name, Ani Jewel Tool. If you follow me, you'll get a notification that I'm going. I'm I'm, I'm going live. Um, or you got to set the notification. Yeah, you need to set a notification. Hold on. Let me show you guys how to do that. If you guys don't know how to set a notification on Instagram. Let me show you guys how to do this. I know a lot of you guys have become Instagram savvy, but let me show you guys. So you guys see at the top, you guys see at the top, these are everyone that I follow that are live right now. You guys see this? So whenever you see two people, like two circles, hold on, let me get back on the screen. Whenever you see two circles, that means like here, that means... Yeah. Let's go low. So that means they're interviewing somebody. Yara, you're too close. No. Should, I'm not talking about Clubhouse. So that's that. So I'll be interviewed tomorrow. So this is how you get a not uh, get notified. Hold on. Let me show you. Yeah. So to create someone, like let's see if I want to, here, Serge. Serge Tankian. Nicole, this one's for you. Um, you guys see at the top right, you'll see a bell. So when you guys see my name, I can't do it because it's my own profile. But if you go to my profile and you click on the little bell, hold on, you guys can get notified on these three, on these. So various topics. So if you want to know when I make a post, click on that. You want to know when I post a story, click on that. If you want to know when I post an IGTV story, click on that. Or if you want to be notified when I go live, you can choose how many times you want to be notified when I go live. Get Okay, so that's how you guys get notified. So I hope you guys can watch me tomorrow when I'm interviewed. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the Fred's Hammer because for some reason Yara was dying for me to do this Fred's Hammer. Um, so I'm going to be, so since it's got a dome, you guys, I wanted to try out the soft, fine, scratch eraser and see how it works so we're going to do this together this is my fred's hammer and fred's have, uh, bill fred's has told me a million times ani you don't have to worry on how perfect of a polish you get and i'm like but fred i mean fred sorry but uh but uh what's his name bill 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 uh, bill 
I said, I want it to look like the original polish when I first got the hammer. And he says, Ani, you don't have to worry about the finer lines. Just get that polish and you're fine. So I just want you guys to know, you don't have to make this perfect, perfect, like how you got it. Bill Fretz has told me, the maker of this hammer, that all you need to do is just get a polish and don't worry about any fine lines because he says those will not transfer over. So you're good to go. And you can even clean up. Um, I actually cleaned up his, um, what do you call them? Uh, they're not the silicone, but Yara, what are they when they're not, like they're soft at the tip? Like the acrylic, the nylon, the nylon tip hammers. You can even clean those up on the jewel tool. I did it for Bill in Boston as actually. Okay, so perfect. I'm trying to get less versus more. I know, right? Yes, so everybody, honest to God, who's on Instagram and I tell them to come watch my Facebook live. A lot of them actually have told me, oh, I've left Facebook and they, and they, they go dot, dot, dot. I can't handle the drama. And I'm like, okay, relax. So we're no drama in Facebook, but some people have had poor, poor experiences and then they stick to Instagram. And so I understand, I don't want to add more social media stuff, but Clubhouse is a different platform and I feel like it will edify and bring us to, you know, up higher. And I just want us to be involved in something that's happening, you know, a movement. And we, we need to, you know, educate ourselves and be, you know, current. I, I'm always going to bring you guys current. So just so you guys know. All right. Tom says he's done. Done with Facebook. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, Yara, Diana says I'm a little blurry. Yes, blurry. I thought it was my bad eyes. <laughs> Oh, Yaro says it's because I move a lot. Albert, Albert chimes in. Hi, Albert. How you doing? Albert chimes in. Chimes in. Definitely. Facebook is drama. <laughs> that was cute. So in the Jewel Tool community, there's like a bubble around it. There's a no, it's a no drama zone. We had a little drama action happening. But it was it's gone. It was kind of fun actually. We kind of had laughed and giggled about it and have some funny memes right now. Um yes, so Albert, I'll tell you about the the clubhouse. So let's keep going. You guys talk amongst yourself. So back to the hammer. I'm gonna use the soft, fine scratch eraser and let's get going. All right. Do I have it on? Oh, I have it on already. Okay, so you guys, Fred's hammer. You can see that Fred's hammer. Hammer been used. Yes. So as you can see, we have a used hammer right here, right here. And we are going to be using our soft, fine scratch eraser because this soft fine has a little bit of a give to it. And since this is like, you know, a domed hammer, I felt as though let's try it and see how it conforms to that domed you know, curved shape of the hammer. So let's get started. Now you can use your, you can use your three inch or you can use your four inch in this. So I can either use the four inch or I can use the three inch. I just grabbed the three inch. So I think we're good to go. So I have this at high speed, full speed, and I'm going to hold the hammer, you guys, at it, I want to call it its neck. So I'm securing it with my left hand. I'm pinching it with my right index finger and thumb right here. And I'm kind of creating a little bit of a stability, kind of like a little base right here with my pinky. Can you guys see that? You guys see that? Okay. And so now I'm going to approach it just lightly and see where I'm at. You guys see this? So I'm going to touch it. I'm going to be okay right here. You guys see that? And just hold it over. You guys see there's still some pits there. So this is what I want to explain to you guys. You hold it there. And there you go. So I'm kind of tilting it a little to kind of get the edges. And just holding it. So what I want to show you guys is there's still some pits. I don't know if you guys can see it, but tiny, tiny little pits. 
You can see it right there. Yeah. So this is from hammering, obviously. God knows the things I hammered. But to get rid of those, you just hold it there a few more seconds longer. You guys know what I'm talking about? So, so yeah, so you could, we could have even used a medium. I didn't realize I had that many pits in it. Oops. But I'm just going to continue. So, like, if you don't have a medium, so just hold it there. So, when I'm talking about holding it, I mean, like, let the metal blend. Kind of go left to right, but slow. Keep it uniform. Keep it pressed. Don't push hard. Just keep it there. Kind of roll back over it. Kind of give it a nice, smooth finish. And let's take a look at it now. Oh, see? They're gone. You guys see those little pits? Those pits are gone. They're not there anymore. Do you guys see that? So now I'll continue. And so don't push hard. Allow it to move the metal because that's what it's doing. Wow, I'm really excited. The soft vine is really doing a good job, you guys. So you guys, so again, we've got pitting action. You guys see the pitting action right here? You guys can see that pitting action. Can you see that pitting action right here? So like, if you got that pitting action, you guys, just put a little circle around it and concentrate on getting rid of that. So you just hold it here just a little bit more. Kind of tilt it, just hold it there, hold it. Don't do anything. The less you do, the better the results. Hold it there. We're talking like one, two, three, four, five, six, not even 10 seconds. And that was pretty much it, you guys. I'm going to give it one smooth whack around, like one good smoothing around. Give it one good roll. Get those edges. You see? The soft flex is really nice. It doesn't want to, like, kind of create any kind of rough edges. There we go. Okay. Look at that, you guys. You guys see this? That This, when I would show frets this, Bill would be like, oh, that's perfect, Ani. And I'm like, no, Bill, I have to polish it. And he'd be like, no, Ani, this is really nice. This won't transfer over. And I'm like, but Bill, I need to polish. And he'd be like, okay, if you must, then polish it. So, you guys, this was done with the, the, uh, the uh, soft fine. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys, now you can go straight to a felt high polish. Okay. Or you guys can take this to one more step. And if you have a problem, I would say uh, polishing at the high polishing stage, then I would suggest you guys use the very fine scratch eraser. So definitely, you guys, if you, you know, are not the greatest at polishing out scratches, I really recommend using the very fine scratch eraser. Hold on, let me find it right now and I'll show you guys which one I'm talking about. Should I have this planned ahead of time? But okay, here, this is my very fine. It did say very fine, I swear it did. So right here, you guys, you can just give it a quick little zippity doo dah over the whole thing. Look, dun, 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 and that's all you need right there. Run it at full speed. If you're using the four inch, run it at medium speed. So we're just going to, again, hold it here. And so I'm going to kind of change my pattern. So if my scratch pattern was primarily like this last time, I'm going to change my kind of rub action. Kind of change it up just a little. Kind of hold it there, work it. And I'm going to show you guys the difference. So this is what very fine finish looks like compared to the compared to the fine so this is the very fine you guys and this is the fine finish do you guys see how there's like a little difference to it hold on let I me mean, i'll turn off the yeah okay so do you guys see the difference between the very fine and the fine it's extremely subtle but the very fine is clearly more polished and if it's this bright, that means it's going to be really easy to take it to a polish. So just, you know, 
be just know that the, you can go to the very fine if you have trouble polishing out the scratches. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's commence. So just hold it here. Do it slow. Don't get crazy and do it fast. No need. It's not a contest. Just keep it going. There we go. Oh, there we go now. Oh, oh. oh yes. So I'll just continue doing the whole thing. And there we go. I think we're done. Let me make it pretty. You don't have to make it this pretty, but I will. So it looks pretty. So there we go. So this is the finish. Look at how that looks polished already. This is the finish off of the very fine. Isn't that just delicious? Like honest to God, it's beautiful. So obviously you guys know that from here, going straight to a high polish is super easy. We're going to actually polish with no problem. So you guys, when you're about to polish, you know, and want to see what you're doing. Again, you can mark it and this will definitely help. I'm going to even mark the back and we'll give that one a little polish. Don't forget about this little sucker. But we're going to polish this whole face. You can even give yourself more if you want to make sure you got it all. There you go. Look at my beautiful basket weave little design. So I'm going to turn it at full speed. Give myself a good amount of compound, even the edge. I might be using that to get there. Okay. And so I'll just hold it right here. And just in say like within seconds, I just want you guys to know, look, I was on there for what? How many seconds was that? And we're already at a polish. Like two seconds, Yaro says. Okay, let's do it again. Give yourself some compound. Ready? Let's count. One, two, and three. That's three seconds. And I got that polish. Three whole seconds out of your life, guys. So when I tell you, you guys, that you can do this in a, a, in a minute. Trust and believe it can be done. So, uh, like, even this, while I'm doing this, Bill is already saying, it's good enough, Ani. It's good enough. It's good. It's great. And I'm like, no, Bill, I need to take it to the perfection that you sell it as. And he's like, oh, my God, this lady's crazy. Yeah, you can see my reflection. Yeah. So there you go. Wow. Wow. You guys see that? And honestly, that's really all you need to do. Yaro says what? So this is the back side. I'm going to go like this. It's like a mirror, I know. So just make sure you're holding it good. This is all. This side I don't use that much, but I've used it a few times. And a quick little, just a, a felt is all it needs, you guys. Look at that. See that? So there. Then uh, we've got that. Beautiful. Look at that polish, you guys. So, so now, now you can, if you really want to take this to like hold... Hold on, let me tell you something here. You can do a few things. You can take it to your yellow magic buff. You can take it to your pink magic buff. My pink one. Okay, that's pink. Or if you don't have any of these, you guys, you can take it to a regular buff, like my cotton buff, this one. And it's the one, the compound. Well, this is my premium. Yeah, this is a premium cotton wheel. Okay, and this is my comp. So you can use this. So I'll show you two different ways. So you can use this. Give yourself a good amount of compound, just a quick little zhuzh. And it's already polished. Remember that, you guys. So you just hold it. Don't push. If you push, I'm coming over and going to get mad at you. Don't push. You guys see how the, the buff isn't even flexing. I just want the cotton fibers to give me an extra pop of luster. You guys see that? Wow. Hold on. Let me get that center. What happened, Yarrow? People are saying what? Oh, my sound gets loud all of a sudden? Yarrow says maybe it's me. So this is the polish you get, you get, you guys. It's just stunning. Look at that. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. 
Welcome to my show. This is Ani coming straight to you live from Los Angeles, California. Okay, so, but honestly, you want a crazy polish, you take it to Miss Pinky over here. Miss Pinky will show them who's boss. Miss Pinky, you show them. Yeah, I have it at medium slow speed. Oh my God, this. And I love it because it doesn't want to grab it. It's just the most friendliest buff in the world. Like, I don't know about this, you guys, but this is just out of this world polish. Like, look, you can see my entire, you can even see the jewel tool on my shirt. Like, that's crazy polish. Isn't that nuts, you guys? So, yeah. Oh, let's do the back. Oh, I forgot about you. Okay, it's okay. We can just use you here. There we go. Hello. Welcome to Pinkland. Look at that polish, you guys. Look at that. So there. So this was done on the jewel tool. And when I tell you guys it's so easy to polish a Fred's hammer, I really mean it. So easy. And I did it slow. I did it slow so you guys can watch my technique, learn how I do it. But this should not take you more than a minute. Honest to God, from sanding it and taking it to polish, maybe two minutes tops. Yeah. So, uh, Holly, hi, Holly. <laughs> okay, so you guys, take a look at how, how high polished it is. Hello. Look, you can see everything, all the lights. You can see, and that's my monitor. Hi, everybody. It's my monitor. Yeah, so amazing. You know, I would not recommend doing this on a conventional vertical, you know, lathe polishing machine. It's That's dangerous stuff, you guys. On the Jewel Tool, it's very safe. Um, so yeah, pretty easy, huh? Who, who else, who else thinks this was kind of easy? I mean, this didn't really involve much. I did. The only thing I really shared with you guys is how to hold it properly and hold it underneath the disc properly at a certain time and then took it to a polish. It's not Ani. It has something to do with the microphone. It's the mic Yarrow says, I'm sorry, you guys. Sorry if I wake you up at times. Okay, so uh, Diana Schnitzka said we could see your reflection through the wheel. And Alison Robert says, same, well, same for me. Does anyone else notice? Oh, Albert. Yes, I know something's up with my mic. Uh, yes, so yeah, okay, got it. Everyone's talking about my mic and everyone's talking about sweet. Sweet? I love it, Holly. I know it's sweet. So, you know, this is not like the cheapest hammer out there. Uh, it's definitely something that you um, keep, you use. It's, you know, one of your prized hammers. But my biggest, don't be, that's exactly well said. That's what I was about to say is don't be shy to use it. You bought it with real money, spent a good chunk of change to buy it. So use it. It's a quality tool. Use it. I know so many women out there that are scared to use their frets because they don't want to damage it. And then when I tell this to Bill, Bill goes, oh my God, it's you, it's designed to be used. And they said, I know, but I go, Bill, not every, everyone's like worried that they're going to ruin the beautiful polish. And he's like, well, look how fast you can polish it on the jewel tool. Tell everyone who has a jewel tool how easy it is. And I go, I love you, Bill. He's a very sweet, kind guy. If you guys have never met Bill Fretz, well, that would be fun to get Bill on this show. Do you know I made, I actually took uh, Bill Fretz's first selfie. I have it in my phone. Yes. I go, he goes, what are you doing? What are you doing, honey? We're at dinner. And I'm like, Bill, I'm going to do a selfie with you. And he goes, what's that? I go, Bill, just smile. And he's talking. I'm like, Bill, it's not a video. It's a, it's a picture. He's so cute. So you guys, Bill, I'm telling you guys, I know him. He's a darling, sweet man, but he's told me, you really don't need to take it to this polished level, but it's, gosh darn it, you guys. It, it looks mighty pretty. I like the way it looks, um, but you don't have to. As long as you get a nice sheen to it, he says, that's all. The secret, the, the issue is he doesn't want deep marks because those, if you have deep marks in your hammer, it will transfer onto the piece that you're hammering. So, but when he saw like the fine little lines left over from the scratch eraser that I was trying to polish out. He's like, no, no, those are fine, honey. Those will not transfer over to the metal. So I want to be clear, you guys. 
you don't have to get to a crazy wicked high polish that you saw me do right now um because it, it's not really necessary according to the world of bill frets but it looks pretty looks real pretty okay i'm a i'm a okay okay and then so fantastic demonstration on what can be done with raw i'm thinking this is oh yes joe ruin joe ruin the tune in um i want to do my best teresa to do your stone this week so we're actually no joe joe ruin is saying that uh there would be a, a fantastic demonstration on stones Yes, Darun, I have like maybe hundreds of videos on stones. It works exceptionally well on stones. Um, I'll be actually working on this, Teresa. I just got to work it out with Teresa's schedule because this is Teresa's turquoise stone that Tom Elms donated and she won in an auction. We'll be grinding this down to whatever design and shape uh, Teresa Sarnowski would like. So yeah, hi. Yes, yeah, so yes yeah, so you can work on all types of stones on this tool um tune in this week thank you for finding us um and yeah so hi jennifer hello i find that the personal challenge to make my hammers reflect my appearance only on it only on the jewel tool right nicole i know like you know you're there like you're polishing and you know you can take it to that perfect even better than fred's polish and it's like just a few more seconds and you're there. So I get, Nicole, why you want to do it too. It's addicting. Okay. Yes, Teresa, we can do it next week. It's your stone. Whatever you want, girlfriend. You just message me and I'll work it out with you. Perfect. So, yeah. Um, so you're not the only person, Nicole. You, I'm, I'm just like you. I need a shiny hammer. So, you guys, I really appreciate every. I just love being here, you guys. If I could just chit chat with you guys all day long and discover new things and, you know, just, you know, grow and be awesome. I would just love that. Uh, you're welcome, Teresa. Okay, so you guys, I, I, I am going to sign off. I hope to see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. California time on Instagram. Please, whoever's on Instagram, or follow me on Instagram to support me on tomorrow's live um, and just wish me well. I don't even know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to speak from my heart as I always do. And so hopefully that'll resonate with people watching. So there you go. All right. Ah, uh, we can just hang out, right, Melanie? Okay. I, D says, see y'all mid-March making the long cross-country trek home tomorrow. No way I can keep track of time zones. Oh, wow, D. Safe travels, girlfriend. Safe travels. Okay. Aw, thank you, D. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. I've seen all your comments so far. Bonnie says, I got this. Thank you, Bonnie. Good luck. You'll do great. I appreciate you guys. I love you. I really do. I love you guys. And I will see you guys here. Uh, I'll see you guys after. Um, yeah. I'm going to do a live show tomorrow here. But just if you guys can please support me on tomorrow's instagram i really appreciate it or and share the live yeah follow me on instagram Woo. yeah yeah and just to recap you guys just to recap what i used on the frets hammer you guys i used our new where is this i'm gonna get both of them hold on i swear i put things here and they like disappeared darn it okay so I used, there you go. Yeah. So I used the soft, fine scratch eraser in the three inch, but you can use either the three inch or the four inch. So this is the new soft, fine. It did a great job. I'm very pleased with it. This is our new one that conforms. If you guys are new to it, it's a little, it has a little bit of a cushy to it. Then I used my belt polishing wheel with the jewel tool compound. Yay. See that? And then we took, we touched it with the buff, just the cotton, my jewel tool cotton buff with the jewel tool compound. And then I used the pink, the amazing, the pink buff. Yeah, mine looks like this. Okay, listen, there's no shame. Don't judge me. So thanks for watching, you guys. I will see you guys here tomorrow. Thank you for all the love and support. I love you guys so much. So just remember, you guys, 
love each other, be kind, and really do unto others as you want to be done to yourself. Plain and simple. And Joel told it, guys. Love you always and forever. Bye for now.